Office of one of Texas' most respected veterinarians. Something extraordinary has been happening. Dr. John Wood has been treating and curing animals with chronic diseases and terminal conditions by using Psy Plus, an experimental non-surgical drug. Psy Plus is one of the products being developed by Medical Sciences Incorporated, a medical technology company founded by Calvin Taylor and Zane Blanton. Medical Sciences is developing Psy Plus and other products for commercial use. Its founders have successfully used the unique products to treat themselves and members of their families for the past seven years. It was Medical Sciences president, Zane Blanton, who approached Dr. Wood to evaluate Psy Plus potential as a veterinary product after Blanton had used it to remove his own skin cancer. As past president of the Texas Veterinary Medical Association, Dr. Wood was at first highly skeptical of the new products, leaving them on the shelf for several months before trying them. We, we ran into a case or two of uh, animals that we were treating that were to be euthanized or put to sleep, and so we decided that we would uh, we'd indeed see just how dangerous this compound was that he had. And we used it on one or two cases of uh, cancer, various types of cancer, adenomas in dogs, and, uh, and got some good results with it. And it kind of kind of excited me a little bit. I thought, well, maybe this was coincidental. Maybe these were indeed not adenomas. Maybe they had been misdiagnosed by the pathologist. But uh, uh, one of my associates had a dog here that had been treated for an immunodeficiency disease. Uh, this dog had been treated, gosh, over the course of a year, year and a half, and the folks had finally just given up, and they, they said, look, we can't afford any more therapy. Uh, we want this dog put to sleep. And she had lost all her hair, uh, had multiple weeping lesions on her. And uh, so he, he decided that one Saturday afternoon late, I think, that he would uh, he'd use this stuff in solution to put her to sleep. Uh, he gave it to her. She indeed had a reaction. Uh, looked like she was going to expire. And then uh, recovered from the, from the shock-like reaction she had. So he, he felt rather compassionate. Even though she was going to be euthanized, he decided he'd wait until Monday to do it. And he came back Monday and she was markedly improved. And uh, he called me in to look at her. He said, "Don't you look at this?" And I, I was, I said, "Golly, what did you do over the weekend?" Because he was on, he was on call that weekend. And uh, he said, "Nothing except use that witchcraft medicine you got." And I, and I said, "Well, how did you use it?" And he said, "Gosh, we, we just, I just made a solution out of it and gave it to her." And so we started using this preparation topically on this dog with. Uh, demodectic mange, which had been treated for the mange mites, had been treated with antibiotics, but because of the dog's immunodeficiency, the dog had not been able to respond. So we started started using this uh, this preparation compound uh, topically, and uh, I guess the end of the story is that the dog some mm, Six months later, she's got a full coat of hair. She's healthy as she can be, and she just feels great. Uh, you know, we saw some remarkable changes with it, and we have nothing to attribute it to other than the fact that her immune system responded to some sort of stimulant. So we started looking at this. Zane had, had posed that this uh, compound might remove cancer. Uh, after using it on a number of animals since then, we uh, we have uh, we've drawn the conclusion that we don't think it removes cancer. We don't think it is a drug that uh, that affects the cancer per se. I think my personal opinion, and I'm not an immunologist, but my personal opinion is that this may be a cell-mediated immunity that it stimulates an immune response in the animal's body 
and the animal then is able to reject whatever that antigen or virus or whatever the, the causative agent is and uh, on its own and that's why these why these tumors peel out and leave uh, very little scar tissue uh, that's why the dogs that we have treated it with demodectic manes the ones that don't respond to uh, routine treatment that's why these dogs seem to respond we think it stimulates their immune response how this happens I don't know for sure uh, and that's one of the things I'd sure like to know but uh, we we definitely see uh, we see some exciting things with it. We have used it uh, in keratoconjunctivitis or an inflammation of the eye in large animals. The problem with large animals is a treatment. You treat them and most, most of our drugs require that they be treated more than once a day. And that makes it difficult to handle a lot of them. Some of them because uh, they're fractious and some of them because you just have to capture them more than once a day. Uh, we found with the solution uh, of this preparation that uh, sprayed in the eye with keratoconjunctivitis, one, two at the most applications has cleared up 100% uh, of the cases that we've used it on. Uh, you know, we know that this drug is not a is it's not a panacea it's not going to cure everything but it has done some of the most exciting things in the response that we've seen to those diseases and disease processes that heretofore we've not had any treatment for so we're really excited about what the potential is on it it, it may be uh, it may be the neatest thing since sliced bread the thing that has excited us most is, like I said, those we got we got a condition in horses called fistula of the withers, which some get well irregardless of what you do to them, and some never get well irregardless of what all is done. And uh, we had one of these cases that had been treated with the, the, all the recommended therapies. Uh, we turned him out in pasture to forget about him and hope that it would just kind of go away and it didn't. All it did was get worse. Uh, he'd been cultured positive for brucellosis and uh, we decided that uh, at Zane's insistence that we try this, we got the owner's permission uh, to pack this draining wound on this horse's shoulder uh, with this compound and uh, when we did the thing blew up as big as a watermelon and looked like it was his whole shoulder was going to fall off uh, then it began to go down uh, the drainage got continually less in 90 days time it was completely closed over and then you know something like four months time he's well you know he has no problems whatsoever and this horse has been doing this for years uh, and we had not uh, not been able to do anything with it so here again we stimulated some kind of response in that animal's body uh, fistula of the withers is something that's given all of us in you know a large large animal practice a problem demodectic mange is one of those immunodeficiency diseases that uh, is caused by mange mite and the mite is not all that hard to kill but the animal's body apparently has no immune response to bacterial invasion and things of this sort so uh, they just they develop a weeping moist bacterial dermatitis and it's just a chronic thing it's over and over and over again that you end up treating them they lose all their hair they get uh, they get infected with uh, every kind of bacteria that comes along and uh, they become chronic problems have to be put to sleep this is the case that i was telling you about that we use this on and we're using it on another one right now uh, this animal had been treated uh, at another clinic with uh, with the accepted means of treatment uh, and the dog as the people told us that always gotten better and gotten worse and gotten better and gotten worse we started him with uh, this preparation uh, topically and in just a matter of three days he's looking better and he's been coming back in once a week uh, since that time now uh, four 
five, about five weeks now, and he looks 100% better. He will probably, he's got new hair growing, and uh, he's not, not draining like he used to. Those diseases that seem to relate to some sort of immunodeficiency or a break in the immune system in the body, we think this this may be gonna this may be where it's most beneficial. Uh, maybe that's what happens in when cancer invasion takes place. You know, the cancer cells multiply so fast that they override the body.